Okay. So since um we have been going live right now, okay. Sorry for those who are waiting. We are uh, late due to some technical issues, old laptop and whatnot. Okay. So for today's WhatsApp world, we are honored to bring to you Nur Amir Amira Muhammad Zain, one of our own PPSK postgraduate student from the medical radiation program. So today she will bring forward her title on 3D printing world and what to um what to um and, and uh, uh yeah so you can start Emira. Hi, assalamualaikum. My name is Emira. So now currently I'm doing my master in health sciences as uh, our moderator has been said. So now I'm proceed to the slide. Tapi slide kat mana you want? Uh, jap eh. I will be sharing the screen. Nanti cakap kat one eh, nak next, next tu. Uh, uh, cakap je. So nanti uh, okay. saya tekan. Alright. <laughs> <Well, laughs> Honored rasanya kan dijemput. Dah keluar lagi ke? Ah, dah, dah, dah keluar. <laughs> so, kita okay. proceed ke, okay, proceed pada tajuk kita hari ni lah kan. I will be sharing uh, about 3D printing. So what is 3D printing? I know most of you know already what is 3D printing. Some of you might blur about this topic. So basically 3D printing is um, also called additive manufacturing and the process is uh, by producing, the process is uh, producing object by adding materials in a layer. So you add up materials uh, by layers. So the process um okay that is how 3d printing works so next next oh next okay uh -uh. So next so oh, in the video as you can see the picture is 3d printing uh -uh, video. so overall 3d printing is just like what the man in blue should do Eh, tengah try playing. Okay. So, if you can see throughout the video, the man is holding uh, the scanner and the scanner connected to the laptop. And then uh, he scan the object. The object could be anything. So scan the object 360. So the image will pop up in the software in the laptop. Yes. Next. So we have uh, nowadays um, there are many types of 3D printer. And uh, there are the wireless one, which you need to connect it to the power supply or to the laptop. And also we have a uh, wireless one. So the wireless is like using the Bluetooth. You don't need to connect with uh, power supply or computer or laptop. Next. Okay. 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 Yang ni ke? Oh, okay. Yang ni ke? Slide ni ke? Slide next. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, slide ni. So, in 3D printing, of course, we need to have 3D printer. So, the the one that I said previously is 3D scanner. This is the 3D printer. There are many types of 3D printer also. And the technology is evolved, uh, you know, throughout the time. It's become um, advanced and advanced. 
So there are a few that I um, put here. We have Ken Quartz 3D printer, we have E3D Nano 3D printer. And the one that I use in my research, basically my research is about 3D printing also. So the 3D printer that I use is the one, uh, my Vista Cube 200. The red one. Hey, no. Hey. It's like mana ni? Sekejap. It's, it's like ketiga. It's like kedua. Sekejap. Jadi printer. Okay. Oh, yang ni ke? Quick spring salah ke baik. Tak sebelum ni. Ni it's like ketiga. It's like keempat. <laughs> ah, ni it's like kedua. Akulah ada explain tadi printer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sekejap eh, dia tengah loading slide dia. Oh, okay. Okay, ID scanner. Dah, dah, dah 3D printer lah tadi. Dah, dah explain pasal 3D printer, kita explain 3D scanner pula. Ini slide 3D printer. <laughs> okay, slide 3D scanner loading. yang loading. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is the type that we have for 3D scanner. We have the wireless one, pure 3D scanner. It, uh, it's more advanced, you know, wireless, using Bluetooth. And then the we have InScan Pro 2X3D scanner. That one we are uh, uh, have wire, so need to connect it with the supply and Whatnot. And then we have the one that I use in my research is technically it's not a scanner, it's a sensor. If uh, you guys have heard about um, Kinex Bot 360 scanner, so it, that is how it looks. So this product is from Microsoft and, and it used in a game, actually in a game. So it detects movement actually, actually. It's not a scanner, it's a sensor. But uh, my supervisor have an idea to um, use it as a as a scanner. And you who, uh, but nowadays um, there are lots of people already use this sensor as a scanner too. So it's not new. It's uh, it's already um, being applied by um, other researcher before. So this is the one that I use, Kinex Kinex sensor actually, not scanner. But it also can be used as a scanner. So, next. Okay. So, to understand how the Kinect works. So, uh, the Kinect, the principle of Kinect, it has two parts. One is software and the other is hardware. So, for the software, I use Kinect software. The scanner is specific, uh, specifically built for Kinect and um, yeah, it's said that uh, the software has a special artificial intelligence, AI, um, AI, a special AI, machine learning algorithm allows the Kinect to map the visual data collect to models representing people of different background. So it collaborate with the hardware. So the hardware of the Kinect, we have uh, RGB color, which is red, green, and blue color. And then we have um, a depth sensor, and then we have a microphone. Uh, RGB color VGA camera, a depth sensor, and a microphone. So how it works is that the camera that attached in, in the Kinect, it detects the RGB color from uh, that reflect from our body as well as our body type and feature and any geometry that you scan so that camera will detect your your movement and everything and we have the depth sensor so the depth sensor is for the 3d image detection so here we have uh, infrared and then we have um, microphone so microphone is used in gaming. For the detection, we don't use the microphone. Next. If uh, anything that I said is uh, wrong or 
you guys have any question, you can just ask. I think we can ask here. I don't know. Okay, then we have 3D printing materials. So there are a lot of, um, there are various type of 3D printing materials. We have ABS, PLA, HIPS, PETG, carbon fiber fill, ESA resin, and Centra. So the most common one used in 3D printing is uh, ABS and PLA. And in my research, I use PLA. So this one is like a modified plastic. So this uh, material that used in 3D printing, they have different properties like speed resistance, strength, durability, density, flexibility, and etc. Next. Next. Okay, so this is the setup that um, I do in my research. So as you can see, there are my kind of Xbox scanner that connected to my PC. So I put it on the table and then um, the, the, the distance between the scanner to the phantom is uh, around plus minus uh, 50 cm and the angle is around plus minus 10, and 10 degree, 10 degree. So the one, the, the thing that I want to scan is random head phantom because I want to produce, to develop a 3D printed head phantom in radiotherapy. So there are like, ada macam, kena nak cakap eh? Adalah macam perubahan, macam adjusting, adjusting yang kena buat masa metodologi ni. Uh, to keep checking the the data detection and there are like um, weakness that the scanner have and everything so need to, need to consider that. Next. 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 Okay, so after this, the scanning the result is next. So na next. So this is the scanet software. We have four parts. One is um processing. And one is scanning. Uh, we have uh, recording, we have reconstruct, and Amy? we have processing. Yes? Uh, uh, sorry, tak dengar tadi. <laughs> tak dengar. So, if you can see there, this is the data that I get after scanning the head phantom, the rando head phantom. We get the color also because of the RGB, RGB uh, camera. It detects the color. And this is um, the raw data that I get from the scanning. So it, if you can see, it has like a hole and need to touch up. You know, you have to crop something and everything here and there to get a perfect uh, result. So yes, next step is editing. This is like a raw data I get from the scanning. So the next step is editing. Next. Yeah, and okay, so for the editing part, we need to edit the the hole inside, not the hole, it's like a dosimetry uh, slot. You know, we have in radiotherapy, to do the dosimetry part, we need to uh, have the dosimeter. So in the phantom, we have slots for the dosimeter placement. So we we are like editing, edit the, the, the slice the same as the rando phantom one like 
the figure at the bottom. The purple one is um, the printed out one. Okay, don't see that. I don't see that yet. You you will be confused. See the the first figure that was the slicing for slicing part. We slice the the phantom because the original render one we have slices. So we do the same the exact same thing to the the one the one that we we scan to the data that we scan. So each slices we have the symmetry slot which is the the round hole that you see on the slot. So yeah. So this software, this editing process, we are using Cura software, 3D Sculpt software, and the other one is 3D Builder. 3D Builder is from Microsoft. Sculpt is from Autodesk. So all this software is uh, free, no, need, no subscription needed. Okay, you can try it out yourself. Next, after the editing process, uh, next, loading. Okay, after oh, the loading. editing process, no, no uh, after the editing process, we're going to proceed to the 3D printing. So, at first, we decided to print out the phantom in hollow shape to cut the cost. But at the end, we think for the suitability. Is it the suitability? I don't know. For the for the sake of the for the sake of my research, I uh, my supervisor decided to print out the phantom in whole shape. So next, if you can see. If you can see the the red one is the render phantom that I scan. Next, eh, This is the full result that I get. So the purple one is the one that I printed out. So the red one is um, the one that I scanned, the original one. So that is the comparison, 360 comparison from right, left, back and front. Back and front, yes, back and front. Next is reference already. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, so it is, as you can see that from the slides, it's a very interesting research project. So like, um, very, very amazing. So may I ask what are the costs of printing those hats? So the company, the printing companies, uh, the printing company said one gram is for wearing it. So this Phantom is 500, 5,000 5, gram, 5,000 plus plus something. So it costs like 5,000 ringgit plus minus only. Wow, okay. But the random only. one, but the random one, but the random one, the, the red one, it costs like 100,000. It's like the oh standard my. one that we use in radio copy. Because in, in the red one, we have actual um human skeleton in there oh okay nice. oh my god okay <laughs> okay okay That's so uh, a quest <laughs> very expensive <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay so uh one of the questions from our audience uh mr fakurazi he asked that did you just say you use co xbox console as your 3d scanner more like um yeah. he's amazed yeah. 
Ah, hello. <laughs> tak dengar. Yes, I use so expo console. Is it console? It's a sensor. It does the same or what? Yes, I use Xbox 360 scanner. Uh, Jack Amy, sorry, I cannot hear you. Xbox console. I don't know console is Xbox sensor. Xbox 360, Kinect Xbox 360 sensor. The name is. Uh, Amy? Yes. Console is how Amy, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You do not hear me? I can hear you. Hello, hello. 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 Sorry. Is it a console? I don't think so. It's it called a console. I don't know. The the official name for kind of Xbox is kind of Xbox 360 scanner. Console is like it's like what? Mm. More to uh, a general device like console. Yeah. Hello, Amy. Do you hear me? <laughs> Yes, I hear you. you. Do you hear me? Console. Me. Okay. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. yes. So from uh, another question, uh, I want to ask another question. Is that uh, is three D printing worth the investment for research, especially like for art or research? If research, it worth in investment, like specifically in radiotherapy in radiotherapy we just um get the 3d data from ct image ct image in the radiotherapy you know ct sim ct simulator it has a 3d image in there so you can get the 3d image from the ct sim itself you print it out and then you have to modify it somewhere uh, from the image you know you have to modify the properties and everything and then you just transfer the you need to modify the city image from the city data to the what the file name the extension of the file needs to be in I don't remember already so in, in a specific <laughs> file extension so then you need you can proceed to the 3d printing so you can print out a real patient specific phantom like if you want to study about the patient patient you know patient body the patient in the radiotherapy you know we have to like modify the the position of the of the of the patient to give them um an adequate amount of those so they have like technical thing that you need to adjust adjust to the patient so we can use 3d printing to create a, an immobilization device like for example, if you want to want to uh, shoot irradiation in head area, so the cancer is in like somewhere in the back of your brain, you know. But you you want to like you want to protect like the one the crucial organ here. Like we have what here we have what we have here like the yeah. crucial one uh, or eyes. You want you want to protect your eyes, so you print out your head eh, not your head you print out the patient <laughs> head okay 
Then you mold, you mold a specific shield, lead shield, here or here. So you make the patient head as a base to produce a lead shielding. So during the treatment, when the sh the radiation shoot, so you just put the immobilizers immobilization thing that you just oh. produce the lead the lead that you. Yeah, so that the crucial organ won't be in any way yeah. impacted, uh, impacted uh, by the like radiation. reduce yes like reduce the radiation yeah in art in art of course of course it's worth it you can like print out any design that you want any design you want any anything as an artwork then the second one in uh, in production of like cars you want to build um, you know, be a a car shape and everything, right? Yeah. Or oh, even in really construction, scan. right? Yes, in construction. Yes, of course. Uh, okay. So, from uh, a question from the floor is that, how far has health and medical field advanced in three D printing? Are we able to print life cells right now? For life from three D printing. <laughs> or maybe replace okay. the tissues. Um, so scanning process is the part that like um, complicated. You know the the smaller the shape and the the rich, the more rich, the richer the geometry. You know the the more shape that the thing has, like it's more okay. difficult for the for the scanning process. You know, you need to have a very high, high technology scanner to scan a very detailed geometrical shape. But cell is very small. I don't know. Maybe you can try. You very you can try. You can try. So we will my size. Like if we're looking at this stage, it seems like three D printing maybe a bit like. Kind of like a toddler at this point, because it can only print inanimate objects, not animate objects. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like for now, uh, 3D printing is only feasible or realistic for things that are not alive, like prost prosthetic, an extension of human arm. It's it oh. is limited to that. Is it like you mean, or maybe you mean you mean the life object like human or animal? You want to yeah, print because, out uh, the question they say that are we able to print life cells? So like you can oh, print life something cells. alive, like <laughs> <laughs> you need you need to you need to combine with mechanical things, with engineering. So you can, so you can oh, yeah. like robot, you know, not a life thing, like robot. <laughs> like robot. Okay. And then uh, robot cells. Is, uh, Okay. Next question is what is our opinion of 3D bioprinting in which technique to combine cells, growth factors and biomaterials to fabricate biomedical parts? Wait, wait, I, I'm also struggling with this question. Uh, what is your opinion on 3D yeah. bioprinting? So it's, it says that 3D bioprinting is the technique to combine cells, growth factors and biomaterials to create a biomedical part. You know, this thing has been researched by 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 many by you know by outside researchers by Ompute and they have been going on like they want to use they they want to produce like human like oh, okay like you know yeah. but I, I don't that. they are crazy about that. So for <laughs> me it's very difficult to do that. You need to like you know <laughs> Oh like they say yeah, playing God. Yes, playing God, you're right. Yes. You can't you 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 never be you know create a human right mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, robot robot is like the maximum the maximum robot is like the maximum stage the highest that level you can go of 3D <laughs> printing. Like a robot, the uh, one that can move, you know, things that uh, move but not like souls. But you where you gonna get the souls? You want to oh, create yeah. one? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is, what is your concerns about 3D 
that can uh, that has been revolutionizing the world of health sciences and medicine. I mean, do you have your limits? Really, do you? Like, I really want to 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 see or you know further study on how they will create they will three D print a real passion phantom like the real shape of the phantom for the outside we can print it print it out but from the inside inside you know how we can create a lung we can create a, a heart my my supervisor currently uh producing a lung but the lung is not like mm. not like not like a lung that we have you know the lung is oh. like they have mechanical robotic things that that oh, basically they can operate expand and Yes, they operate like way. lung, but the shape is completely <laughs> different from the lung. Yes, oh, like okay. a robotic lung. Ah, robotic yes. lung. Okay. Yes, that is very yes. new. You can just you. yes, you. yes, you can just Google it on YouTube. There are so many things there through three D printing. <laughs> yes. Uh, usually, I said about it um, for prosthetic and also like what skull yeah. printing. Yes, it's my supervisor. Uh, so is it like um, what are the challenges? Okay, another question is what are the challenges one should be aware of before starting studying on three D printing? You need to have a very high technology devices, high technology scanning, high technology computer. Yes, high the te computer one, the computer and the scanner is like the crucial part. The crucial part to okay. have, so, like, yes. yes. So I'm curious, does USM have that? USM has, has printer, we have in PPSD printer to print out your teeth, I guess, to make a prosthetic uh -huh. teeth, to make a crown teeth. Oh, okay. I don't know, yes, they, they scan <laughs> they scan through x ray or to what the 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 this and then print it, print it out. I don't know the machine names. But we have one in PPSC. So like so technically it is advanced enough lah. Yeah. For your SM level. Okay. Yeah. Advanced enough, <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> if you can combine the one that you printed out with, you know, like if you print out head, you can combine it with an organ. So it's like very advanced one, like PhD. Oh. <laughs> PhD level. Seems very advanced. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then another question would be that okay, in future, what is the kind, what is the variety of 3D printed products that will be produced to help solving cancer or tumor problem? For nowadays, we already um, evolve and improve our 3D printed products. Okay, 3D printed products. Basically, just phantom, you know, phantom is like we study about the patients. So to create a patient specific phantom is uh, not yet in, a, you know, in, in a research state. Okay. You understand? In, so, so like uh, Malaysia that is not in that level yet? Malaysia. I uh, I'm not sure if there are researcher that start that you know doing on radiotherapy phantom, but outside outsiders um outsiders international in, international <laughs> international researchers they 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 have been you know a lot of uh, research about three D printed uh, pa pa patient specific phantom oh. like a lot if you Google on the Google Scholar like there are a lot of they are doing head they are, they are doing lung they are doing Every part of your organ, your body. So it is progressing very. Yeah, very yeah. Fast. you know, <laughs> Western Western are trying to create a human being. So yeah, they are what. Yeah. Thinking, I know. <laughs> okay, so um, is there any other question from the floor from the audience? I have run out of question. <laughs> it is very interesting and very like new to me today. <laughs> To learn about oh, like, like phantom. <laughs> I'm not expert. I'm not like I'm new and I'm a beginner also in this field. 
Just like uh, you, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, another question. Um, when 3D printing, at with the 3D printing advancing in medicines, the digital pirates will see this as an opportunity to print their own illegal drugs, by arm, music instruments, and what else? I've heard about this. People printing, uh, 3D printing the gun and can bring it to like courts or, you know, official government. Um, like a fake buildings. one or what? 3D no, like a fake one? Fully, fun fully functional 3D printed gun. Uh, oh, they printed the gun parts, get into the courtroom. <laughs> assemble the gun and shoot everybody. That That's what oh. I've seen. I think it's more like, you know, Western part of the world where they oh. love shooting. Oh. So like, uh, so like, this is a new is news. About this? Oh, okay, new My news. opinion, <laughs> new news to me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Basically, with the advancement of technology, even you, you, you thing, have... um, uh, it shouldn't the illegal thing, the pirate thing. It's it's not a good thing. So, no, <laughs> that's my opinion. Be good, be good. <laughs> yes, be good. You have a very long question there, but that's only my answer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it is uh, according to, uh, yeah, with the advancement of technology, our morality also need to be advanced. Yeah, so, the advanced is, is good. Uh, uh, another question, is it safe to let 3D printed the prototypes overnight? Or like overnight? leaving it? Oh, basically like, the, the, yeah. based on the 3D printer's type, you know, you have, uh, we have, uh, the one that can operate in high heat because 3D printing, they are using a very high voltage, very high current. So mm. some printers, if, if um, some printers cannot exceed the, you know, certain temperature, so you need to stop print for a moment that it cool, and then you can proceed to print it again. Um, yes. So according to type stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. So repeating consume a lot of heat. And also electrical. So bills must be high, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Okay. I think this might be one of the last questions. You uh you had mentioned a few 3D materials for printing, like you know, uh, the ink for printing. Aside from plastic basing, what kind of materials the world has invented? Can we print to dong bahwa di printing? We have resin. We have yeah. metal. Yes. We have resin. Oh. Resin. Metal. Oh, yes, we have metal. Yes. Food stuff so, but in my what? Food. Food. Yeah. Because it's all about 3D printed meat. <laughs> so you want to make the food as a printing materials? I've seen a video about that, but I was, what? you know, not not really into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. But maybe you can make one. <laughs> <laughs> so like even fabric can be printed, uh, can be a printer ink for 3D. Mm. For now, I never uh, maybe maybe fabric fabric mm. because the <laughs> the materials needs to be heated and it's in a liquid shape. It's in a for example ABS. It was in a solid state. Then when the you know you like a gun like a blue gun. Uh huh. When oh it, yeah it, yeah it melted. And when it heated out in the in the glue gun and then it's you know like a string liquid like an egg. yes <laughs> like a string yes 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 okay so i don't know about uh, fabric and leather though but metal yes oh, metal yes uh, yes like metal as the printing ink to what what are actually they doing with that metal 
Is it like apa nama dalam? Satu, satu. I'm not focusing focusing more on metal, but I know we have metal as a uh, printing materials. I'm focusing more on plastic, on resin. The, you know the the substance that close to water property. Because in radiotherapy, we need to compare with the water. You know, since our body it have seventy percent of water, so we need to use materials that close to water property. Yes. Oh. Okay. I think this. Uh, I don't know if it uh, answers the question. Another question is how to tackle the world's healthcare challenges with 3D printing, especially now during COVID. Hmm. Face shield. You can put 3D printing. Oh, yeah. Print it out. Print it out. Yeah. yeah. Face shield. Yeah. Face shield. Besides that, hmm. I don't know. What else? <laughs> What else? Okay, another another one that commented that I think few countries already produce edible edible three D printed meat, but maybe it's not true meat. Oh, maybe it's not okay. This is this it. is new to me. Okay, good. <laughs> you can produce food now with three D printing. Yes, go three D printing. <laughs> Save the world. But to Save eat, world hunger. but to eat, need to wait one day to print the food out. What? <laughs> okay. So for um. So is there anything you would like to add on the current? I don't know current situation of three D printing in Malaysia. Will there be more advancement or does it need actually more money than we have? Yes, we can produce like a lot of things from 3D printing actually. We can invest more and more. We need money in this field. There are a lot of things you can do in 3D printing. Yes, so just need to, yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, I think this would be the last question. Oh, so many questions now today. <laughs> Is our country widely investing in this additive technology? I mean, like well, that. you know, we, we always make money, you know, our country need money too. So you can use 3D printing as something like, you know, to sell things about our country, you know, printed out. You know, the, the, the things about 3D printing is that you, you can print out a custom made thing. So you can, our Malaysia can produce something like unique, you know, they only can get oh. in Malaysia. Design things. Okay, oh, designer. And then design yes. considered. <laughs> Any things that we can design and print it out. <laughs> okay, as of now I'm not seeing any other questions. So um is there anything you would like to add? Majulah 3D printing untuk negara. <laughs> 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 Thank you for sharing with us today about 3D printing okay. and about your research and also we wish you good luck on your next journey. Okay. I was and in the face for <laughs> submitting thesis right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So for okay, now, I think okay. <laughs> I think now, yes, uh, we we are done. Thank you for sharing with us your research and also your knowledge on 3D printing since we are in our own world and we don't know what each other are doing. So mm -hmm. for um, thank you for being our speaker for today and may I'm we honored. all see you again in another WhatsApp World session. Thank you. Okay, you are welcome. Sorry to if I have any lacking in anything. Sorry. Oh, sorry bye. also for the technical issues. Bye oh, bye. Okay. All right. Bye. How to? Can I leave? <laughs> leave to.